Tesla just triggered one of the most significant shifts in its battery roadmap since the early Gigafactory era. After months of quiet development and scattered leaks, both the aluminum ion and sodium ion programs are now moving toward 2026 mass production, marking Tesla's first large-scale push into non-lithium chemistries built for long-life, low-maintenance driving, especially for senior users who prioritize stability and predictable performance over cutting-edge speed. The question now isn't whether these chemistries work in the lab. They do. The real question is which one Tesla will trust for real-world, everyday conditions. Will aluminum ion finally deliver the fast cycle endurance it has been teasing for years? Can sodium ion hold its ground in cold weather scenarios that frustrate older drivers every winter? And how will Tesla slot these packs into the 2026 production schedule without disrupting Fremont and Shanghai output? We'll break all of that down in today's report. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications so we can reach 17,171 subscribers and unlock deeper access to technical sources inside the battery supply chain. Which Tesla battery chemistry will dominate senior-friendly EVs in 2026? When you think about your daily drives, whether it's errands, doctor visits, or weekend trips, Tesla's 2026 aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries are designed with your peace of mind in mind. These aim to fix the reliability, longevity, and predictable range issues that older lithium-ion packs still struggle with, making every trip less stressful and more dependable for senior drivers. Aluminum-ion promises extremely fast charge cycles, reportedly reaching 80% charge in under 15 minutes on a 150-kilowatt DC fast charger, while maintaining a projected lifespan of 4,500 cycles which roughly translates to 1.2 million kilometers of real-world driving before significant capacity drop. In contrast, sodium-ion chemistry leans toward cold-weather resilience, retaining more than 90% capacity at minus 15 degrees Celsius, compared to LFP's approximate 70 to 75% under the same conditions. The aluminum-ion pack achieves this through a proprietary high-conductivity aluminum foil anode combined with a graphene-enhanced cathode, dramatically lowering internal resistance. Tesla engineers are also experimenting with a modular cell layout that can scale from 30 kilowatt-hour micropacks for urban models to 120 kilowatt-hour blocks for longer-range vehicles, without drastically increasing weight. This could make aluminum ion not only fast charging but also competitive in energy density, estimated at 180 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram, which is approaching standard lithium-ion levels used in the Model 3 and Model Y. Meanwhile, sodium-ion's edge comes from its abundant raw materials. Sodium is readily available, cheaper, and less environmentally sensitive than cobalt or lithium. Its theoretical energy density is slightly lower, around 160 to 170 watt-hours per kilogram. But Tesla's testing suggests that the trade-off is worthwhile for consistent performance in low temperatures and extended calendar life, potentially 5,000 cycles before degradation, or roughly 1.3 million kilometers. That aligns perfectly with the driving habits of senior users who may prioritize weekend trips or seasonal travel over daily aggressive acceleration. How about real-world performance between aluminum ion versus sodium ion on the 2026 Tesla Model 2? While Part 1 explored raw chemistry, our Part 2 dives into what these batteries mean when they power an actual vehicle, starting with Tesla's rumored 2026 Model 2. Early engineering reports suggest that aluminum ion packs for the Model 2 will weigh roughly 420 kilograms for a 60 kilowatt-hour unit slightly lighter than an equivalent lithium-ion pack, which typically ranges 450 to 470 kilograms. The weight reduction may seem modest, but for urban and suburban seniors, lighter battery mass translates directly into improved handling, braking, and efficiency, especially in stop-and-go traffic, where inertia matters more than top speed. Range projections for aluminum-ion on the Model 2 are currently estimated at 320 
to 350 km per charge under EPA cycles, slightly lower than a high-end lithium-ion pack, but offset by its ultra-fast charging capability. Tesla insiders indicate that 150 kilowatt fast charging infrastructure can push these packs from 20% to 80% in 14 to 16 minutes, making midday top-ups or long weekend trips far more convenient than the 40 to 50 minute sessions required by some LFP packs. For seniors who value predictable routines and minimal downtime, this could redefine usability, turning previously intimidating long-distance drives into manageable outings. Sodium Ion, by contrast, brings a different set of trade-offs. Its 60 kilowatt hour pack is expected to weigh around 460 kilograms, slightly heavier than aluminum ion but still competitive with standard lithium ion packs. Where it excels is consistency in sub-zero temperatures. Tesla testing data suggests that at minus 15 degrees Celsius, sodium ion retains 90 to 92 percent of nominal capacity compared to aluminum ions roughly 85% under the same conditions. In practical terms, this translates to real-world winter ranges of 285 to 300 kilometers per charge versus aluminum ions 260 to 270 kilometers. For senior drivers living in northern regions, this difference is meaningful, essentially reducing the risk of unexpected range drop during harsh winter commutes. Cost considerations also play a critical role in Tesla's decision-making. Aluminum ion packs rely on high-purity aluminum foils and graphene cathodes, components that currently carry an estimated production cost of $130 to $140 per kilowatt-hour at scale. Sodium ion, leveraging abundant sodium salts and a simpler cell design, could drop pack costs to $100 to $110 per kilowatt-hour making the chemistry an attractive option for entry-level 2026 EVS aimed at budget-conscious older buyers. When multiplied across a mass production target of 500,000 to 600,000 units per year, these per kilowatt-hour savings represent tens of millions of dollars in production efficiencies, potentially allowing Tesla to price the Model 2 more competitively without compromising safety or warranty. Finally, the driving experience itself is expected to differ. Aluminum ions lower weight and higher power density favor brisk acceleration, with insiders projecting 0 to 60 miles per hour times around 6.2 seconds for the base Model 2. Sodium ion, being slightly heavier and less dense, may deliver 0 to 60 miles per hour in approximately 6.8 to 7 seconds, but the trade-off is smoother more predictable energy delivery, which senior drivers often prefer for confidence and comfort. Tesla seems intent on giving the market a choice. One chemistry prioritizes dynamic performance with rapid recharge. The other emphasizes predictable reliability in all climates. How can Tesla's 2026 aluminum ion and sodium ion rollout transform the EV market for senior drivers? With chemistry and real-world performance outlined, the next question is production feasibility. Tesla's Fremont and Shanghai factories are gearing up for a multi-pronged 2026 rollout, aiming for up to 1.1 million non-lithium packs annually, split between aluminum ion and sodium ion. Fremont will focus on 500,000 aluminum ion packs, leveraging domestic aluminum suppliers, and Tesla's proprietary graphene cathode process. Meanwhile, Shanghai's facility will push 600,000 sodium ion packs, taking advantage of China's abundant sodium salt reserves and local cell fabrication expertise. A critical piece of the supply chain puzzle is electrode material sourcing. Aluminum ion requires high-purity aluminum foils, graphene powder, and specialty electrolytes that are still produced in limited industrial batches. Tesla engineers are reportedly negotiating multi-year contracts with suppliers capable of delivering over 1,200 metric tons of high-purity aluminum annually, ensuring Fremont lines maintain uninterrupted production. Sodium ion is more straightforward. Sodium, manganese, and iron compounds are globally abundant, enabling Shanghai to maintain a steady output without major price volatility, even under projected mass production scales. 
When it comes to launch timing, Tesla insiders indicate a phased release strategy. Early 2026 will likely see small batch deliveries of both chemistries in select markets, including Europe, North America, and East Asia. Full-scale availability is expected by Q3 to Q4 2026, coinciding with Tesla's broader Model 2 expansion. Analysts predict initial pricing around $29,900 to $32,000 for the base Model 2, with battery chemistry influencing cost and range slightly. Aluminum ion units may carry a $1,500 premium, offset by fast charging capability, while sodium ion packs aim for entry-level accessibility, emphasizing predictable winter performance over peak acceleration. Moreover, mass adoption of non-lithium chemistries has broader implications for raw material markets. Reduced reliance on lithium and cobalt could ease price pressures for legacy lithium ion vehicles, while also mitigating geopolitical risk associated with concentrated lithium supply chains. Aluminum and sodium are abundant and geographically distributed, which could, over time, allow Tesla to scale aggressively without bottlenecks that have hampered other manufacturers. Analysts estimate that by 2028, non-lithium packs could account for 25 to 30 percent of Tesla's global EV output, with a particular impact on entry-level and senior-focused segments. Finally, the 2026 rollout may serve as a litmus test for Tesla's long-term energy strategy. Success with aluminum ion could validate ultra-fast charging in mainstream EVs, potentially influencing supercharger network upgrades to support 200 to 250 kilowatts peak power. Success with sodium ion could set new standards for cold weather reliability, potentially inspiring a wave of sodium-based pack adoption across Asia and Europe. For senior drivers, these developments translate into tangible benefits. Less anxiety about range, faster mid-trip charging, and vehicles designed for longevity, not just headline performance. So which chemistry would fit your driving style? Comment aluminum or sodium to let us know. Share your thoughts in the comments. We're curious to see which direction you'd take. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit the like button subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and turn on notifications so you won't miss any updates on Tesla's 2026 battery rollout or other breakthrough EV tech. Every click helps us reach 17,171 subscribers and brings you closer to exclusive insights straight from the production floor.